Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's matchup of Commerce and Central here at Central High School in Springfield. The Commerce Red Raiders are 1-0 overall, um, and coached by Gary Mendel, who is in his fifth season with the team. Their first game of the year, which was a victory, they beat East Longmeadow 3-2. Central, uh, their one game this season was a loss. They're coached by Kathy McBride, who is in her 12th season with the team. And their first game was a devastating loss to West Springfield uh, in three straight sets. We're excited to be out today with Springfield Spike Attack presented by Focus Springfields. And the first serve of the game is a bullet hit by Commerce High School. It's pretty remarkable to see an ace as the first serve of the game. Let's see if he can keep a streak going. Commerce with only seven players on the roster. It's going to be a tough team to defeat. But if the game goes more than three sets, they might get a bit tired. Central with their first serve, which is no good. It's so important to hit those serves over. If you don't get them over in the first place, there's no way you can score any point. There's a broken set over there. Brandon Robinson, the captain, with a broken set early on in the game, letting that one slip between his fingers. Central lacking in their communication a bit as two people go for the set in the beginning of that play. Looked like an illegal set. When it spins a little bit, it usually means that they hit the ball with two hands at two different times. For a set to be legal, you need to hit it with both hands at the same time. Commerce tips it, and Central gets the ball back and scores. High school volleyball has rally scoring which means that a team can score even if it's not their serve. So even though Central scored and Commerce won that serve, uh, Commerce gets a point and then gets the serve. Commerce rotates. Commerce at a disadvantage up on the net without a true big for blocking but definitely making up for it in terms of serving. Another ace. <laughs> Haven't seen that many returns this game. Everything has been. There's a double hit against Central. We haven't seen that many returns this game as there have been a lot of aces and bad receptions. Hit to the middle. It's a little low for a set, but Central makes it work even though they don't get the spike. There's the 10 hit by Commerce. That 10 hit looked a little over the line, but does not matter as it is hit out anyway by Jamari Cooley of Central. Anthony Figuera with a nice reception for Central and tipped over the net by Brandon Robinson, Central's captain. The spike by Commerce goes out of bounds, and it's Central serve again. I'm telling you, if Commerce is to win this game, they need to win off serving in straight sets. If they get pushed to four or five, they're just going to be too tired by the end of that. 
Commerce's form looking excellent, but their size being a huge, huge burden. Without a true hitter and a true blocker, it's tough to win these battles up at the net. Central decides to not go for the block and instead almost scrambles to recover that one. But the 10 hit goes straight into the net. Commerce serve. Score is four to nine. Commerce up. The serve is no good. Back to Central. Serving is key. Even if it's a bad serve, if you get it inbounds on the other side, you have a chance to make a point. And a lot of the time in, in high school volleyball, that's enough. We have the substitution, Jamari Cooley out and Angel Huertas in. You see that a lot of times in volleyball. We have a big guy play whenever um, he's in the front and then subbed out for a smaller guy who can receive better in the back. Angel Huertas aces the first serve, then on the second one, does not make it to the net. In volleyball, each player has a set position that rotates after each possession. Um, you, you serve until, until the other team scores off you, um, and then you rotate when you get the serve back. Um, you have to rotate those positions and you need to start up um, in your designated spot on the grid. After that, you're allowed to switch, but only to a certain extent. Players in the front need to stay in the front. Players in the back need to play in the back. If a player who is in the back uh, jumps for a hit when they're in front of that yellow 10-foot line, um, it's a foul and a point goes to the other team. If a, if, a, uh, if a ball is set to a player who's in the back court, you'll see them do a 10 hit, which is where they run up right to that yellow line and then jump and hit it. Central with a nice serve to the back corner, but received very well. Commerce gets the ball back. Commerce has now been through their entire lineup for serving. They're starting back over at the beginning. Commerce hit the first serves of the game and is currently up 12 to eight on home team central. Gets another beautiful ace over there in the serving corner on central's side. Central throws their libero in in an attempt to receive this Tough downward serve. It's a beautiful jump serve. Really tough to defend. Especially for someone as big as Joseph Passe over in the corner for Central. It's not as much about form for a taller guy. It's tough to get down that low to receive serves. It was the same way for me when I played volleyball. When, when you're 6'4", it's tough to get down all the way to the ground as quickly as a guy who's 5'6". As Commerce hits it out of bounds, Central's pretty lucky. It was looking like an out of bounds serve was the only way they were going to win back on that one. The substitution as Angel Huertas gets back to the front and Jamari Cooley comes in for him. Nice reception and a little trick play by Commerce. Commerce has not been attempting to do any front row hitting as they don't have the size for it, but a beautiful 10 hit there. Central with a nice hit. A free ball sent over by Commerce. Another free by Central. A push to the corner by Commerce. And the trick play works. You can't send it over on the first play like that most of the time, but throwing a little quick free ball in there every now and then can help to fool your opponents who are expecting a bump set spike sequence. A nice hit by Central, and again, another 10 hit by Commerce. 
loving those back row hitters. It's way easier to hit from the back row when you're shorter because you don't need to be able to get up and over the net. You can give it a little bit of an arc with some backspin and have it sink down right over the net. Timeout called, one minute. This is Spike Attack presented by Focus Springfield. My name is Brendan Holland. For camera crew here today, we have Chris Polanco, Chris Stone, Grady Bergen, and Jason Culp. Thank you for tuning in. Commerce up 16-9 with possession arrow to central for a truly, truly outstanding uh, first set display by Commerce. Despite their size and small roster, Commerce getting it done by taking these plays and funneling them through their backcourt for some excellent 10 hits. And Central just sending over too many free balls. And the bad reception by Central, recovered but not over the net inside the guide. Commerce serves again. Excellent serving can save your team a lot of energy and use up a lot of the other teams if you send them scrambling all over. The front row hit sent out of bounds by Central. Lucky for Commerce who didn't make a huge attempt to go up and block that one. It's tough without two bigs on the court. Normally you would put them opposite each other. So one person in position one, the other in position four. So there's always one of them in the front row to block. Just kisses the net and Central earns a point. It's tough to block those because you expect it to go further than it does and then when it snags on the net, it falls a lot closer back. Commerce with the nice reception right into the setter's box. Set up and tipped right over those spikers. When Central goes up to block, they'll tip it over them every time, especially when Joseph Passe is caught out of position like that. When two people, the middle and the outside blocker, go up, it's really important that that back row man comes up to cover them as Central gets called for a carry on that possession. Commerce with a bullet that doesn't quite clear the net. Three types of serves we're seeing are underhand, overhand, and jump serves. Jump serves being a bit tougher and you're more committed once you start going through your steps. A regular overhand serve you're able to do more with. Central hitting the net on that play and giving up what could be a beautiful block. When you get those, you gotta hit them straight down, right into the ground or else the opponent has a chance to scramble and get a recovery. Commerce with another nice serve, but a little bit outside. Commerce up 21 to 13. Four more points needed to win this set. Each set is played to 25 points. Uh, win by two, rally scoring. The first four sets are to 25 points. If a fifth set is necessary, it's only played to 15. First person to three sets is the winner. Team switch sides after every set and switch sides halfway through the fifth set if that one is played. The beautiful 10 hit hit right through Commerce. A miscommunication there as the spike falls right in the middle of four Commerce players. As Commerce goes for the bump on the reception. But it is too high. A 
again, Commerce hits it right into that setter's box, but it gets tipped over. The reception is good, but out of bounds. Scrambling like that is tough. If you don't get it into the setter's box right there in the beginning, then it's tough to set up for spike. You normally think bump, set, spike, so we got the bump, the set, and the spike into a block, an impressive block by Commerce. Again, bump, set, spike, and Commerce wins it. You're allowed three hits per possession, except if there is a block. A block does not count as a hit, and then you would technically get four hits in that possession. The recovery good, and a double hit called against Commerce. Commerce up eight and one point away from winning this set. They are not worried. They would almost rather have it go longer in order to tire Central out. The first set comes to a close. Commerce up 1-0 uh, with a score of 25 to 16. Stay tuned. And welcome back to Springfield Spike Attack, presented by Focus Springfield Community Television. My name is Brendan Holland, calling the game, along with our crew from Focus Springfield. Chris Polenko, Chris Stone, Grady Burgeon, and Jason Culp running our cameras tonight. Commerce up 1-0 after the first set which they won with apparent ease, 25 to 16. Central starts with the serve. Anthony Figuera with the pink shoes and the serve. The serve not as fancy as his shoes, goes just out of bounds. Commerce point, commerce ball. Commerce with a bullet over the net. Central receives, but sends it out of bounds on the other side. With good serving, Commerce could win this set with as much ease as they did the last one. Free ball sent over by Central. Set up great by Commerce and tipped over. Commerce recovers the free ball. Both teams are really getting warmed up. Central coming out hard in this set. The double hit by Commerce. Double hit occurs when you set it up and the ball it's both your hands at separate times. The refs can see that you had a double when it spins coming off your hands. If the ball is a knuckleball coming off your hands, then there's no way it was a double hit. Central serves it out of bounds. Commerce with a bunch of aces this game. Let's see if they can pull out another. So close to that back corner, but about six inches out of bounds. Grady Burgeon with the shot down low. Central with the interesting serve across the net. Manages to make it drop in in front of that 10 line. It's a tough serve to defend when you're set up that far back as a team. That one goes a little bit further back along the sideline. Commerce with what seemed to be a little miscommunication, but still pulls out a nice hit and the point. Commerce point, Commerce serve. This current set four to three Commerce. 
much more evenly matched as Central comes out pretty hard. Central hits it up against the ceiling and is, and is unable to recover. In high school volleyball, if you hit it up and it hits the ceiling, if it lands back on your side, you are allowed to continue playing as a team. If it hits the ceiling, then goes to the other side, you concede a point and the serve goes to the other side. The jump serve by Central doesn't go over. Ball back to Commerce. A huge hassle to go through all that work to get a serve, just to throw it away. Good serving is the most important thing in the game. If you get it over every time, you have a huge advantage in high school volleyball. Central with the nice tip over the blocker is able to get the serve back. Central looking to win this set and tie it up. Commerce with a broken block. Right through big side blocker, number eight, Jamari Cooley. Miscommunication by Central who thought Two players thought the other one was going to hit it, but they managed to recover and get a free ball over. Commerce with a nice little 10 hit. That goes just out of bounds on that back corner. This is Spike Attack presented by Focus Springfield Community TV. Central coach out on the floor to sort out what appears to be a lineup discrepancy. If they serve out of rotation, then the other team gets a point automatically and the ball. It's really important that you have all six players in the six spots that are, they are supposed to be. Central with a substitution. Jamari Cooley out for Angel Huertas. We saw this in the first set. We haven't been able to evaluate Jamari's backcourt play, but we can assume it's because Angel Huertas is a bit better at receiving as short people usually are. Cooley up front for those three spots in the rotation to block and hit. referees solve the discrepancy. Central is waiting to be able to make the substitution. Central players doing push-ups and showing off for the ladies, as any good high school boy should. Central stands pretty full tonight with a bunch of people showing up for this matchup. Central and Commerce being two of the major high schools in the city of Springfield. Looks like we have about 70 people here tonight, all eating pizza from over at the concession booth. I could totally go for some pizza right now. Discrepancy is sorted out. Central serves it. Commerce has the nice return. Central scrambles to recover. And Central has the nice tip over Commerce's head. Central coach Kathy McBride 
making the good decision to substitute in Angel Huertes for Jamari Cooley. Who has a beautiful serve his first time and then hits it out of bounds on his second. Central getting in rotation to receive. And a great 10 hit to that back corner by Farouk Mohamed Stokes, a captain for Central. We're tied at eight in the second set. Commerce winning the first, but losing their edge in this second set. Central hitting it back out of bounds. Serving one of the major components of this game. If you don't get that down, it's really tough to win a set, let alone the entire match. And another miss serve, second in a row. Ball goes back to Central. Central serve, seeing Joseph Pesay in the back, getting ready. Back far enough to be set up for a jump serve. Let's see what's up. Just want a bit of walking distance. He hits it over just past the 10 line. Commer sends a free ball over to the side. Central scrambles to recover and sends a free ball of their own. You have the bump, the set, and a nice 10 hit spike that goes off the net, but is called as a block. Central wins the point nonetheless, and Joseph Pesce gets to do his second serve. Central sends the free ball over. Commerce takes advantage by pushing it to that back corner. Central using their libero. Commerce without enough players to have a libero. Central with a beautiful block that was out of bounds. Tough break for those central bigs down low. Game tied 11-11. This looks like it's going to be a close set. The little tip by central. Set up for a spike, but not quite there. Commerce with another 10 hit. Earning them the right to serve again. The spike attack presented by Focus Springfield Community Television. Gabriel Rubilar, a captain for Central, serving that one over. Commerce recovering and sending a push to that back corner that they love so much. Again, being tough to win one of these sets without a big guy to block and do that front row hitting. A two hit for Commerce there that doesn't go over the net. Not set quite high enough to be a three, but definitely higher than a one. Central serves it out of bounds, and the serve goes back to Commerce. Commerce with the serve over, which with the reception out of position, they are able to score an ace off that. 
An ace generally seen as a serve that hits the ground before someone touches it, or a serve that one person hits, but then is shanked way off into the stands, like that one there. Next time we do this, we'll have to keep count of Commerce's aces. Commerce is serving, keeping them in the game huge as they serve that one over. Central returns it, and Commerce sends it right back. Central sets it up for a spike, but then spikes it out of bounds. Commerce only staying in this game through their excellent serving and back row play but definitely struggling on the front row. Central not quite knowing what to do with that one. Many expletives being yelled from the stands over here at Commerce. Hope we're not picking too many of those up on the record. Central with a nice hit. Commerce touches the net on the block. Central serve. Central opting to serve from the middle, giving them a bit more flexibility, being able to hit it to both corners equally as well, which they do go for the opposite corner with a line drive. Com Commerce recovers with a nice 10 hit, hit into the block, but blocked down onto Central's own side. After a great streak there, Commerce serves it up and out of bounds. But nonetheless, Commerce is on top of this game, 18 to 16. Also is up one set to zero. Commerce back with the serve, up 19-16 on this set. Nice serve to the corner, set up into that setter's box and dumped right over. Central with a true 10 hit. Commerce able to have four hits on that play because one of them was a block. Excellent recovery by Commerce. They're able to keep their composure and get the hit over after such a hard hit by Central which Central then receives and sends out of bounds. Commerce with the line serve, sent just out of bounds. Commerce opting more for placement currently than for power. A balance of both is how you win one of these games. Placing the ball in the right spot and hitting it really hard. That missed serve being devastating for Central, putting Commerce up 21-17. Commerce with four points to go if they look to win this set. Commerce unable to recover on that bad reception. Sending the serve over to Central. Central with 18 points needs seven more to win. Commerce with 21 needs four. Commerce wins this set, and Central will have to win out the rest of the sets. Winning three in a row is difficult, especially against an opponent that serves as hard as Commerce. It's tough to receive those balls once you're tired by the end of the fourth and the entire fifth set. Commerce about to send over another bullet. Central being able to keep their composure will be very, very important. Central returns it, and Commerce messes up on that serve, hitting it into the net, or on that spike, rather. Joseph Pesce, the junior for Central, serves it over. 
been instrumental on the front and the back line in this game. Commerce breaking down, gets it into the net again as Joseph Pase goes for his second. Looking to tie it up with Commerce. Central is down two now. And that one is out of bounds. Commerce up 23-20. Commerce looking to win out on this set by scoring two points. The lefty serves it over. Commerce tips it. But a foul against Central. Reaching over the net on that play. Commerce one point away from winning this set, which would put them up two sets to zero. An excellent serve. But Central has that perfect placement. The light tip over keeps Central in this set. Needing to serve four straight over and not lose any serves after that in order to win this game. Commerce with the nice hit on the front line. Hits it off the block, keeping them up. Commerce wins that set, putting them up two sets to zero, wins 25 to 21. Stay tuned for set number three. Welcome back to Spike Attack, presented by Focus Springfields. Commerce up two sets to zero on Central. It's funny, as we were driving over here to cover this game, we saw Commerce, which is located over by our studio, uh, walking out to get on their bus. They should have just hitched a ride with us. We were able to get here before them. Driving a school bus through the city, I can't imagine. Glad I'm in television and not in school bus driving. It's a job that I could not do. Commerce serving to open this set with a true bullet. Sends it up and almost gets it stuck in the rafter. Central able to recover somehow. Commerce sets up the 10 hit, hits it into the net and concedes the serve. Central up one to zero. This a do or die set for them. Down zero to two sets. Central must win or else they uh, lose the entire match. After a miss serve by Central, Commerce gets the ball back. Serving from that back right corner. Central with a nice reception back in the corner to the setter. Commerce with a pancake for the recovery. Bump. Set spike for that outside hitter. Gabriel Rubelar on that other play. And again, calling loud for that outside hit. It's great to see a captain stepping up on a set that is really important. This is just Central's second game of the season. They lost the first one to West Springfield in straight sets. It's tough to lose your first two games of the season, both of them without winning a set. Foul on Central. Appears he... Did he step over the line? They're giving him a reserve. Oh, it would appear that the referee wasn't ready. Truly unfortunate. The first serve going over just fine, but called off. The second one not quite having enough oomph to make it there. Commerce with another serve over the net, winning this game purely on serving and 10 hits. Central calling it out. Captain Gabriel Rubelar upset with himself as it goes in just past his knees.
Commerce with another bullet over the net. Commerce coach Gary Mandel in his fifth season, very smart to work with his team, heavily on serving in that back row hitting. His team truly defying the odds. A team this short with only seven kids on the roster rarely wins games this commandingly. Another beautiful back row hit for Commerce. Commerce doubling central in this set, three to six. Commerce with a light serve over, which Central receives. Central sets up the one and spikes it straight down on Commerce. Central not letting Commerce run away with this one. Commerce up six to four, receives that serve, sends it back over with a nice hit. Central with a miscommunication, but gets it over the net nonetheless as a free ball. Sets up the hit. But Commerce has a double on that play. Central back in this one. Down six to five with the opportunity to tie it with this serve. Free ball sent over by Commerce. Central sets up the spike, sends one over to the back row of Commerce. Commerce with a nice hit to the opposite corner. Seeing that there's no blocker up, hitting it cross court. Commerce doing very well spreading their hits across the center and both outsides of the court. Recovering from that free ball and sending it over. Central takes it and sets up the 10 hit, which it sends over to an empty spot, missed by Commerce on the miscommunication. Central with the serve, down six to seven, looks to tie it up. The substitution for Central, Jamari Cooley in the back row being subbed out again. James Gagnon going in for Central for the serve. Angel Huertas playing on the back for Jamari Cooley in the first two sets. Central coach Kathy McBride decides to switch it up on the third. Commerce with a nice hit to the corner, but Central is able to recover and send a free ball over. Commerce receives the bump, set, spike sets it up and sends it over. Central with a broken set and is unable to recover on that bad reception. Concedes the point and the serve to Commerce. Commerce with the serve, up eight to six. Central ready to receive. Right there in the middle. Received it on a set, set it up, but then decides to bump it instead of spike it. Ends up hitting it a bit too low on that bump and isn't able to dump it over. Central with another nice reception and the set. This time gets the spike in but hits it just out of bounds. Serve stays with Commerce. Commerce up six, or rather Commerce up 10 to six on this set and up 2-0 on sets overall. Central with another hit that goes out of bounds. Central setting up perfectly, just unable to execute on those spikes. You couldn't ask for a better set than what Commerce is playing right now. Able to recover with a pancake there, but then the second hit is no good. Sending it out of play. Serve goes back to Central. Anthony Figuera. The junior for Central playing the front row and the back row. A serve as fancy as his shoes gets it over and scores the ace for Central. Figueroa, number nine, the junior, serving again. Another nice serve. Note that back spin, college coaches. And Central has the block on that hit. Central fighting to keep themselves back in this one. 
they're unable to get a few more good serves out of Figuera, they would definitely be able to stay in this game. Figuera not quite getting it over the net that time, conceding the serve to Commerce, who goes up 12-9. to Still a bit far away to win out. Commerce looks to go up by at least a few points on this one. A bullet over to Central, who receives it fine. Forearms a bit bruised, maybe. Sends a free ball over, which Commerce takes on a bump set spike. Sends it over, breaks the block. And then Central is unable to receive it from there. Commerce with another opportunity to serve. Central sends, or Commerce sends it over. Central receives it a bit low, but manages to get it over as a free ball. Commerce sets up a bump set spike, sends it over the block as a tip. Central dumps that ball over, goes up for the hit right off the tip, and does not make it over the net. The Central crowd extremely upset over that display from their players. This is Spike Attack, presented by Focus Springfield Community Television. Thank you for tuning in. Commerce has another great serve over the net. Central able to return it nicely, looking to stay in this game. Commerce's form excellent, but Central not breaking down either. The bump, the set, and the spike from the back row, which we've been accustomed to seeing during this game. Ball doesn't go over, but Central ready nonetheless to block that 10 hit. Central finally getting into the groove of blocking that back row hitting from Commerce. It's tough to hit, or it's tough to block a hit from the back row because you're unable to know where over that it will cross. Central recovers from that excellent hit sent over. Commerce sends another. Called by the refs as a block, so Commerce gets another row. Looked like the Commerce player jumped in front of the line there. But the ref doesn't call anything. The central team angry about both plays there. That point sends Commerce up 15 to 10. Nice serve right to the back. Received by Central's Libero. Palmer sets it up and has a nice spike right to the center. Sends it out of bounds. Libero Donis Legrand runs over to the bench. Commerce with another nice hit to the corner. Again, a team this short-handed is doing exceptional. Commerce with only seven players here tonight. I said when we got here to our cameramen that if Commerce wanted to win, they would have to win in straight sets. If they went four or five, they might get too tired with their smaller roster. But it looking like Commerce is going to win out. Commerce up 17 to 11, only needing eight more points to win this set. That would be their third set one. And that would put them winning the match. Central. Down eight needs to recover and get to 25 first in order to send this to four sets. And then after that, needing to win out a fourth and a short fifth set. Central size not being a huge advantage. Blocking is not very helpful against back row hitting. 
and it is illegal to block a serve. You need to let it get below the plane of the net before you can hit it, which generally means you have to bump it. If you can get under it, sometimes you're able to set it. But unless you are exceptionally short, you cannot spike a serve. Central receiving it and sending it out of bounds on the Commerce side. Commerce with another serve, up 18 to 11, looking to sweep this game for their second win of the season. Commerce is fresh off a win in their first game of the season against East Longmeadow. They won three sets to two in a nail biter. Central showing heart and trying to win back this game. They lost their first to West Springfield in straight sets. That serve going out of bounds. Every point mattering here to Central. Six more Commerce points, and the game is done in three straight sets. A missed serve by Commerce keeps Central in this. 19 to three. Central bench looking a bit tense. A little jump serve by Central. Captain Brandon Robinson sends that serve over. And coming up big where it counts, sending the serve over that Commerce is unable to return. Captain Robinson, number seven, the senior for Central, with another opportunity to serve. A nice serve to the center, which Commerce is unable to recover. Keep Central in this game, down by four points now, needing to score 10 before Commerce scores six in order to push this game to four sets. The senior captain Robinson with another serve. Right to Commerce, who sets up a great serve, sends it over. Central unable to recover from that hit off the ceiling. Commerce serve up 20 to 15. Looking to put this match away in three straight sets. A nice reception by Commerce, or by Central rather, resulting in a 10 hit that's just over the line. Those 10 hits you need to put tons of backspin to be able to get it to bend down and hit inbounds. You don't have an excellent angle when you're back that far, but you're able to put it more places on the court without it being blocked. Ball goes back and forth a couple times. Central sends the free ball over. Commerce sets it and sets it up again for a player who tips it over right on that baseline. Junior Central captain, Gabrielle Rubilar, number five, unable to recover that tip. We're three points away from what would be a commerce sweep of Central, but Central stays in this one. A substitution, Junior Jamari Cooley substituted out for James Gagnon. The junior number 11 for Central, who serves over a good serve, but not good enough as commerce sets up the return and spikes it straight into Central, who is unable to return it. Commerce able to negate the Central blockers by hitting it further away from the net. Central unable to get a good set on that play. And Commerce one point away from sweeping Central in straight sets. Commerce up 16 to 24. The serve is an ace. It looks like it's in that corner. The ref's looking undecided. But from our vantage point up here in the booth, very clearly hitting that inside as we look at the quick replay. Commerce hits it over that time. The bad reception by Central leads to the Commerce win. 
Commerce wins in three straight sets. The third one, 25 to 16. Thank you for tuning in to Spike Attack, presented by Focus Springfield. Visit us at focusspringfield.com, facebook.com slash focusspringfield, youtube.com slash focusspringfield, and on Twitter at Focus Springfield. Thank you for tuning in. Please contact us if you have any questions, and good night.